Engineer 775, I wanted to talk to you about uh, low producing water sources, whether they be wells or springs, and the use of solar water pumping to optimize those water sources. Here we have a timer that has, is pretty much infinitely adjustable in terms of how much time you want the pump to run, how much time you want it off to help it recover. So this is a simple timer wired in with a solar water pump that you can hear running. It's just pumping water right now into my pond. This is out of a hand dug, hand dug well. And the recovery rate was a little bit lower than the pump. The pump would out pump it. And so I installed this timer in line with it. This is just a Piltec, very simple timer. And the pump will go off. I've got it pumping for five minutes, off for one, and then it'll come back it just keeps doing that cycle. So um, I run into a lot of people that have low producing wells and they run through all these different hoops and trying to figure out what to do. Some of them spend a lot of extra money and have another well drilled which can cost a tremendous amount of money. So something as simple as a, a timer or a controller. I'm going to show you another speed control and, and timer system here shortly. I'm just waiting for this one to cycle off here and uh, Anyway, I'm not going to burn up all the video waiting for this timer, but you can see the flashing light. And it'll shut off here shortly. It's and quiet now. The pump is shut off and will stay off for about a minute and then it'll come back on. So, and these are time settings. I don't know if you can see it on this video. I'm just taking it with my phone and you're able to basically dial your well and its recovery rate into whatever you're pumping out of it so you have a you don't have uh, you don't have to worry about your pump burning out and you just you pump what's there and not pump air so let me show you another one okay I wanted to show you on my uh, external controller for my deep well pump I have uh, a speed control knob right here that I can adjust down I'm not fully pumping here but you can see the water coming out there I'm adjusting the speed control running this thing down dialing it in so it's barely pumping just trickling now shut it off actually and then I'm going to turn it back up and I'm back up to pumping full speed so what that does is it allows me to fine-tune the pump to your well also has a timer button so in the combination of timers and speed controls um, I can uh, basically dial a solar water pump into what your well actually produces and that can help you in many ways. So save you from drilling another well and using the concept of pumping slow and steady all day you can get ahead of the game through uh, storage. And so just want to share this little video on timers, speed controls and uh, saving you hopefully a lot of money from drilling another well if you really don't have to. Run into a lot of people that have wells that they just cap because it was only producing one gallon a minute, a half a gallon a minute those are still great wells if used correctly so um, in conjunction with solar water pumping a lot of pumps that get thrown in a well are 5 to 10 to 15 gallons a minute and of course they'll out pump and you gotta put all sorts of crazy expensive things on it to get it to work and not burn up the pump but not with uh, some of the solar water pumping technology and timers okay engineer 775 signing out